this video, we'll talk about the data privacy. This is an important topic, uh, often misused and often used without the real understanding of the process that we need to understand in order to use it properly. What does it mean, data privacy? We will show it with an example. In order to activate data privacy, you need to have uh, at least two data sources that are not at the same place. So in our example, these are uh, SQL database, one data source, and the other data source is Excel file uh, based on, on our local drive. So we need to have two data sources, different one, and then we need to do some combination of them, either through merging of queries or appending the queries. So now let's see what happens when we try to merge fact sales table with dim store to retrieve some store descriptions into a fact sales table. So let's go to fact sales table. Let's go to merge queries, merge queries. Let's go, let's like to merge by store key and let's go to dim store, store key, left outer. And immediately we receive a new window that is asking us about the privacy. Now, what does it mean to expose privacy? That means that when we combine two different data sources, Power Query occasionally, especially if query folding is taking place, can send some part of the data from one source to the other for processing in order to retrieve the values that we want. So in this, uh, uh, in this path of execution, this can lead to exposing the sensitive data from one source to the other source. Therefore, we need to be an acknowledged of that and we need to be provided with a choice. Do we really want this to happen or we, we, we choose to do some other? Uh, there are also videos online about how to surpass this data privacy, but this is not the topic of this, of this uh, video. So anyway, whenever we choose to connect two different types of data sources, we are asked if we wish to uh, ignore the privacy level, therefore potentially exposing the sensitive data from one data source to the other data source. So we can choose to ignore privacy level or we can choose that this is a public, public uh, source. SQL desktop, sh uh, SQL server should never be a public uh, source, but for the moment, let's choose this one. And after we choose OK, we are allowed to merge the query and to retrieve values. You can choose, let's just, for example, expand one. OK, so we can see that they are communicating. The two different files, different data sources are communicating and sending each other data. So now, if we wish to this, in this, this way, we will always need to provide our acceptance for any data source that we wish to combine. We can also do that progr programmatically by going to the options and by choosing data privacy in the current file, data privacy, and we can choose to ignore the privacy levels and potentially improve performance. My advice is to only use this when we are sure that all the data sources that we combine are coming from within our company and there is no way of exposing sensitive data to other parts. Whenever you're accessing websites or accessing APIs or foreign uh, domain, then be sure to check if it's okay for you, for your company to do this kind of merging because potentially you can expose sensitive data. And now if we choose this option to ignore privacy level, we will ignore privacy level for the current file, but we can also choose to ignore privacy level under the global setting. And I would advise you to leave this option as combined data according, because you really do not want this uh, possibility to always ignore privacy levels in every Power BI file, because it could lead to potentially uh, loss of data or data leak leakage. Okay, so this is all that was important about uh, data privacy and see you in the next video.